Hi everybody, Jeff Simon here at AirVenture 2025. I'm here at Hartzell Engine Technologies with Keith Bagley. How are you doing, Keith? Doing very well, Jeff. How are you Keith, doing? Keith is president of Hartzell Engine Technologies. You can hear the wonderful air show going on above me. It's fantastic here. And I'm just thrilled to be here and see what's going on because you have tons of new product announcements. You've got PMA stuff in the works. And also, I want people to understand that under the Signia Aerospace brand, we've got Cleveland wheel and brake, you've got welding, or acorn welding, you've got all sorts of different things going on under this umbrella that touches just about every part of the engine that you can imagine. Uh, so tell me what's new. Well, uh, qu quite a bit. And let me just start by saying it is exciting to be part of Signia Aerospace because of what capabilities we bring and can offer to the general aviation market. You know, pilot myself. Um, you know, we're, we're building a forever company and we're continuing to invest in, in this market and in the products and you know, some of them that you mentioned, Power Up Magnetos, we talked about it at Sun and Fun, uh, and the team continues to innovate, right? So we, we released the, the PMA on the Bendix ES2200 series, a very popular series of magnetos uh, for the Continental engines. Well, we're following up this, in the third and fourth quarter of this year with the PMA on the 1200 series. So this oh. is currently under engine testing. That's, we expect by the way, that's the one I'm waiting for on the Bonanza. We're gonna do a whole thing on that. Perfect. And show that because I mean, the idea of using those 1200 magnetos, the Bendix style magnetos with the improvements yes. that you've made to power up that actually uh, improve longevity, mm -hmm. get rid of the, uh, some of or really improve on any of the weak points in the design. That's enormous. That gives me confidence flying over water, flying at night. It makes a huge, huge difference. Yeah. Well, glad to hear that. We're, we're excited to get that release and into your hands. Um, so, so that's that's a big one on our front, and, and then you know in April we close on Emag. Um, Emag is an interesting one. So today, primarily for the experimental market, if you're flying a Vans aircraft, more than likely you're flying behind two Emags. Uh, uh -huh. These things have been in the industry for for over a decade. They've delivered over eleven thousand. So there's a lot of good field reliability data. This is a, a great electronic ignition system. The challenge is. It's experimental so we've kicked right. off our certification process we're expecting next year for PMA in hand um, really exciting thing about, about this and, and our certification path is it's going to be a drop-in replacement for four-cylinder and six-cylinder magnetos no backup battery required no dual bus required simple easy installation take off the old magneto install the new one I love so that that's and, and that's very different for anyone out there who's looked at the different options that are on the market they require a fair amount of actual work and wiring and mm -hmm. backups and that's clean and so clean that's something. weight reduction cost yeah. reduction right so I mean you don't have to have all the, the redundant uh, support systems so perfect um, perfect and then you said you've got something else you told me about with it v-band v-band because that's cool I just want to lay out for everybody here there was an airworthiness directive for turbocharged engine exhaust systems where the, the bands, they're called V-bands, that are clamps on that uh, could fail. And ultimately it, it, it is almost grounding the industry because you can't get the parts. Mm -hmm. And when you do get them, they're still the same ones that basically people they had problems with. So what are you guys doing? Well, it's uh, what we have done, and you're, you're absolutely right on, on the V-band, you know, there's this perfect storm of supply chain issues. Uh, and then the, the AD, uh, there's like over 40,000 aircraft in the field that, that are impacted by this and at risk of being grounded because parts right. aren't available. So we've actually patented, uh, we're under patent protection now on a unique and novel V-band that eliminates spot welds. It's rivet free as well, because although uh, rivets aren't part of the AD, that is a failure point. Yeah, they could uh, be, right? It could be a <laughs> failure point. And our, uh, our unique and novel V-band is uh, kicked off certification testing at our facility this week. So we're running uh, about 400 hours engine testing. Wow. Um, we've already done uh, two, uh, two tests in, in two different OEMs engine test cells. We have two V-bands that are flying on a customer's airplane right now. Uh, so, so we have high confidence in, in the capabilities and, and what we can demonstrate. The installation is going to be very similar to the, the current V-bands. It's an installation, it's a torque test at, at 50 hours, and then you just let it go to TBO. That's awesome. I mean, that's awesome. You, you want the small parts that are inside an engine or inside an aircraft. You want the things that you don't think about to remain things yes. that you don't have to think about. And that just does it, right? You, you know, see a problem, solve it. I love that that is the approach 
that Hartzell Engine Technologies takes to so many things, whether it's a mag, whether it's a V-band, all the different components are in there. Um, I just want everybody to know, if there's a part that touches your engine, take a look at what they have. Uh, uh, it really covers everything. Here at the show, you can see from starter adapters, uh, you know, alternators, starters, you name it, everything. The, the couplings right. that, that, that we even make a test tool for ourselves. Everything is covered by that, and uh, and you basically improve on those designs. That, that's our plan. Is you know, um, continue to invest in the, in the products, continue to invest in the market, identify areas of uh, you know whether it is design uh, failures or, or in, uh, deficiencies, uh, supply chain weaknesses, and, and, and really go see how we can solve customers' problems at yeah. the end of the day. You know. Like I said, we're, we're building a forever business. We want to continue to fly the aircraft and fly behind the, our own product as well. So we're invested and in, with the backing of Signia, um, we're able to really, really invest in this market and in, in yeah. industry, so. Well, there's improvements in everything. I've seen that and I'll show all of you that in future videos and when we do more things. You know, I put in an alternator from you, uh, 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 hun upgraded the Bonanza to a uh, 100 amp version. Okay. And, and, uh, and smaller, lighter, plain power one from yep. you. Get, and it, it's impressive in that right at idle, I have all the power I need. It doesn't matter what I'm drawing on it. Exactly. And so that is really helpful. And the other thing I want to touch on um, is, is I think to some people in the industry, a little bit of a sensitive subject. And that is when we see all of these different companies, sort of small companies that get acquired and coming under one umbrella. One of the interesting things I learned through this is that it's actually in many cases, companies that don't have a succession plan mm -hmm. that the market is at risk for. So when you see something like uh, Signia come in and, and uh, acquire companies and put them under a large umbrella, a lot of people look at that and think, oh man, prices are just going up. This isn't like good for the industry. But when you dig through and you, you, you kind of go through the layers of the onion on that, you find out that these small companies, many cases, didn't have a succession plan, didn't know where they were going to go, and some of them were at risk mm -hmm. of going away. Mm -hmm. And so by the, what's really happening in some of these cases is we're preserving the ability to continue some of these products uh, rather than risk them, you know, losing I, them. Absolutely. You know, it's funny you mentioned that. About uh, four months ago, I was flying through Montana, coming out of Edmonton when I, when I went to Acorn Welding and passing through, you know, a small little FBO. And, um, uh, somebody recognized I'm from Hartzell and, and we got into a discussion it was exactly that about Hartzell acquiring these businesses and you know the conversation quickly turned towards uh, look you know we're going to continue to invest in your products and the mm -hmm. fact that you're able to continue to support your aircraft that was you know manufactured in the 60s is because we have bought these businesses that did not have succession planning right uh, that were on the brink of bankruptcy and we're going to it's a great product and the market needs that product so we're gonna do everything we can to make sure that we can continue to support the, the, the GA community. Excellent. Well, thank you. I appreciate everything thank that you, you do. I appreciate you supporting the education that we're able to provide. There's gonna be a lot more education coming through. We do that for pilots. We also do that for AMPs and IAs. So if you have your inspection authorization, you wanna continue your get your continuing education online for your IA renewal. All of that is free, available at socialflight.com. And a lot of that is content available from Hartzell Engine Technologies. So thanks so much, Keith. Thanks, Jeff. I appreciate it. It was a pleasure. That. All right, for AirVenture 2025, I'm Jeff Simon, and I wish you all blue skies.